Taking a look at the physical features of our IP camera tester, uh, we can see on the front we have our screen. This is 7 inches. If we turn that on, we'll see uh, one problem we have had, uh, as we had with other testers in the past, is there is quite a bit of glare. So uh, if we just get the lights in there, you can see it actually washes out the screen quite a bit. Um, so you could get a screen protector, an anti-glare uh, shield to put over that. Uh, that has worked on others in the past. Next to the screen we have dedicated buttons uh, for uh, arrow keys. We can use the arrow keys instead of actually touching it uh, as well as enter, open, read, and turn just for uh, going through the menus. And then we have some dedicated buttons here for uh, zoom and focus. So we have a tele and wide button as well as near and far uh, right above it and we have dedicated uh, recording and snapshot buttons here so uh, if we're in those IP camera apps we can just push them to take our snapshots instead of having to use the on-screen menus it is uh, these buttons did make using it quite a bit more convenient we didn't have to look for on-screen buttons um, or figure out uh, where those buttons were uh, we could just hit them here on the bottom, we have our uh, PoE ports. So we have PoE out via the LAN port. We can also do PoE pass through if we have a powered switch or mid span going in the PSE in port uh, through the LAN. Uh, we also have our 12 volt DC uh, output right here. So we can output 12 volt DC as well as our 12 volt DC charging right there. Uh, our other uh, RJ45 over here is used for UTP testing. So the cable test and probe functions we actually plug in there. And we do have an HDMI out uh, if we wanted to output it to a monitor uh, for uh, test patterns or just displaying things larger. Uh, our micro SD card is where snapshots and recordings get saved to. Uh, it is removable. There's no way to access it without uh, actually just popping that card out. So we can't plug it into a computer or um, grab them that way. So you will need to pop the card out. On the top we have a couple of connectors, uh, HD analog. Uh, so this is HD, CVI, and TVI all on the same connector. Uh, they are separate apps. Uh, it's not one app for all three, so beware of that. Uh, we also have our uh, analog video output if we want to do monitor testing as well as a uh, standard def analog input. A couple of serial connections, RS-232 and 4, uh, 485, as well as SDI all the way over here. So we have a lot of options up there uh, for analog and HD testing. Finally, on the back, under the big plate here, we have a rechargeable battery. Uh, you can actually buy spares if you wanted to keep a spare charged. We didn't have any problems with battery life in our tests. We were testing for several hours using PoE intermittently, um, sort of similar to how you would be doing it in the field, and we didn't see uh, issues with the battery really draining very fast or anything. Uh, we haven't tested uh, overall battery life. Uh, we also have, just have a pop-up stand so you can set it at an angle on a table and there's a quarter 20 tripod mount so if you wanted to put on a tripod as you're uh, for example walking around a facility just so it's at uh, eye level for you to use and your hands free you could do that as well. Uh, it also does have a couple of straps so you have a hand strap here if you wanted to just hold it with one hand and then there is a longer strap which actually goes around the neck and holds it out at an angle from your body. We'll uh, post a separate picture of that just to show that use. So that about does it for our tester overview.